Tuesday, 17th of January 2012, Bloom's Greenhouse, looking at hot chocolate, uh, very impressive flowers, stem length at least a meter, uh, I mean this is just stunning, um, we just had a lady over, she's got one pot on her deck and she's been growing that for a couple of years without touching it and it gets 20-30 flowers, which it had over summer. Um, so these producing a little bit less, uh, planted in mid-October, 5 centimeter tubers, so very strong stems and with hot chocolate, um, the thicker and the bigger the stem, the less flowers it seems to have, so it definitely has it in it to produce well, but it's just a matter of getting that tricked properly. And I know some flower growers do get very good amounts of flowers out of them. Yeah, and then next door here we uh, go down to blackjack, which you can see is a little bit shorter, slightly smaller head. This is blackjack here, darker colour. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, more, I would say, civilised, but more manageable flower, not such a big, huge flower head. Well you look at with the hot chocolate, I mean that's the absolute premium uh, market you're looking at if you're marketing those flowers and this is more uh, the common um, yeah, purple black variety. Again with a black stem the same as hot chocolate. Yeah. But Very strong uh, stem. Very and they get these are really multiple flowering. There's one here for example one, two three, four, five flowers already I with more to come. Two coming. Yeah, so yeah. these are multi-flowering and so from a, 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 a grower's point of view very, very interesting. Mm, yeah, absolutely.